Hey everybody, today I will show you how to undo your latest commit. So let's go ahead and create a folder. I'll just call this a project and let's see it in that folder. As you can see, this folder is empty. And another thing to mention is I already have Git installed. So let's go ahead and initialize a repository with the git init command. And if we check the status, we can see that this is a empty repository and there are no commits. So let's go ahead and create our first commit. I would just echo some content in a test file. Now, if we check the git status, we can see that there are untracked files. So let's go ahead and add that. And then let's do our first commit. I'll just put first commit as the commit message and hit enter. So now if we check the status on our branch, we can see that everything is up to date. And if we check the git log, we can see that we have one commit already. Now let's say that we made some changes. So I'm going to do that. I'll add just an H1 here and then save the file. Now, if I run git status, I should be able to see that the test HTML file that we created has been modified. And if we run git diff, we can see the actual change. So let's go ahead and add that change and then commit. I'll just put updated the file as the commit message. Now, if we run git log, we should be able to see our second commit with the commit ID. Okay, so let's say that we made that commit by mistake and we would like to revert it. To do that, we will just run git reset head followed by one, which means to just undo the latest commit. Now, if we run git status, we'll be able to see that the file has been modified. And if we run git log, we would no longer see the latest commit. So now what I can do is make some more changes to the file. And then let's go ahead and commit that change as well. If we now run git status, we can see that everything is up to date. Now, if we run git log, we can see the latest commit with the new commit message and the new commit ID. So now let's say that we wanted to get rid of the changes as well. The first time we ran git reset, we didn't specify the hard flag. So this basically means that the latest commit would be undone, but the changes would be preserved. Let's say that you made some changes and you don't want them because they broke your application or something. To do that, what you could do is just run git reset followed by the hard flag. And then again, let's put this as head one, which basically means the latest commit. Now, if we run git status, we can see that there's nothing to commit. And if we run git log, we can see only the first commit. This basically erased our latest changes. This is pretty much it. I hope you find this helpful.